Restaurants are one of my favorite things to build in The Sims. I think mostly because there's so much that you can customize about them. I mean, you can make an entire custom menu, you can pick all the outfits for the staff. Building them is really fun. The problem is just that they don't always work that well for gameplay. They can be kind of glitchy, it takes like six hours for your Sims to get a meal. So typically I just build restaurants and I don't always use them. And today is another one of those cases because I kind of want to try to build like an eco-inspired restaurant. I've got these visions of like plant walls everywhere and stuff like that. So let's jump into the game and get started here. So I built this restaurant on the 40 by 20 lot in San Sequoia. That's the new world that came with growing together and there's a bunch of really nice spaces for community lots in this world but in particular this one I think is really good. You can kind of tell just from this overview but it's a very long and skinny lot and it's kind of like almost in the median of this road and it's got sidewalk on three sides so it works really well for building some sort of community lot type of space. I think in particular it's really well suited for like a cafe or a restaurant because there's a lot of space outdoors that might make sense for like outside seating. It's also kind of just in a prime location. This lot is like right next to the rec center lot in San Sequoia and it's like right next to where the splash pads are. So if you've played growing together hopefully that gives you kind of an idea of where we're building. Ever since I first saw this lot I've been like dreaming of building a restaurant here so we're finally doing it. I mentioned the inspiration being like sort of of eco lifestyle vibes but I was also kind of picturing like a trendy like vegan spot basically. This place feels very Instagrammable too. I have a lot of like fun spots that might be good photo ops. Obviously that's not really a thing in The Sims. Like you're probably not gonna have your sim pose in front of a plant wall with the like neon sign but in real life you might do that. There's a lot of things like that here. I always kind of struggle with the exterior of stuff like this because I don't think that I'm very good at building community lots but I've been trying. I've been practicing. This one's kind of a more modern style as well. There's a lot of like platforms and flat roofs. I've got some skylights around the place and because the lot is pretty big I managed to fit in a lot of things. So we have like the main building here, right? This is gonna have like the seating inside. There's a kitchen. There's some bathrooms But I also put a mini parking lot kind of in the right side That's just grass right now And then we have a lot of outdoor seating as well on the like left side over here So if you were to actually bring your sims here, it's pretty good no matter the weather And I've noticed that it does rain a lot in San Sequoia. So it's nice to have some indoor seating there's there's plenty of seating around. It was kind of fun too because I feel like I got to use some stuff that I never use. For example, there's those really big tall plant walls from Eco Lifestyle that almost look kind of weird when they're next to each other because they're identical so it kind of tiles. But I thought it kind of worked here on this build. I also used that bright green leaf wallpaper in the bathroom. I kind of had this mentality of like, look, when else am I going to use this stuff? <laughs> We're building a plant restaurant. Like this is the time to use all of the plant things. There's also like a little vent veggie board that comes from Dine Out, so I use that in here. I mean, anything plant, I put it in this build. I also found some pretty nice debug landscaping to use on the outside. We have the debug cars and stuff, so it's kind of fun having an excuse to use those things because you can't always fit them places, but this lot I feel like lended itself really well to having a fake parking lot. It can be hard to add those things into some of the other lots in the game because, for example, a lot of the places in Newcrest or even like the ones in Willow Creek, they don't really seem like there would be a parking lot in the back because the back is like a park there isn't a road. But this, I mean, the road goes all the way around it. There's a road on all four sides of this building. So if there's gonna be a parking lot anywhere, it would be here. Oh my god, speaking of parking, I've got some news to share. <laughs> I've got a big life update, okay? I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert this week. I realized that I hadn't mentioned that on YouTube yet. I've been talking about this for months on my Twitch stream, but it just doesn't really come up that often on YouTube. I'm, I'm like talking about dumpster diving with my hot dog sim and not really mentioning my personal life that much anymore. But I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert in Tampa this weekend, which is why I said speaking of parking, because I'm driving myself there and I'm a little bit scared. Just a little, I mean, I'm actually terrified in fact. So here's, here's some backstory, right? I've been a huge fan of Taylor Swift since I was a literal child. The first CD I ever got was a Taylor Swift CD. I got it for Christmas. My grandpa was also a huge Taylor Swift fan. I've been obsessed with her since I was very small. I literally only listen to Taylor Swift. If you could see my Spotify wrapped, it's like Taylor Swift, The Sims 2 soundtrack because I play it on stream and then One Direction and I'm not exaggerating. I only listen to Taylor Swift. I'm not accepting judgment at this time. 
time. I'm just simply trying to give you some context. So obviously with her coming here on tour, I want to go so bad. Managed to get tickets the day they went on sale on Ticketmaster. It was an ordeal, as I'm sure you all know, but I got some tickets. The problem is just that she's performing in Tampa and I live in Orlando, which is like two hours away. And as I'm sure you know, parking at an event like this with this many people is a nightmare. It's just a nightmare. But the bigger problem is that I have really bad driving anxiety that I've been working on for a long time. I'm getting a lot better, okay? But I, I'll i tell you this, um, I just got back from Trader Joe's like in real life today, this morning, almost cried in the parking lot. Um, I have my moments. <laughs> I have my moments. I'm a safe driver. I can do it. Like, it's fine. I just, um, I get really anxious, you know? So I'm really scared about driving to the Taylor Swift concert in Tampa. Um, that part, absolutely terrified about. Very excited but absolutely terrified. So um, I'll let you know, <laughs> I'll keep you all posted. I will definitely be posting about it probably on Instagram and stuff. So if you wanna follow me there, I'll, you know, you can see me <laughs> at the concert, I'll post the pictures. I think one bonus of this though, is that if I do this, we're like facing all of my fears at once, okay? Because I have really bad anxiety driving and in crowds. So if I can manage to survive this event with like both of those things at like an extreme, that'll give me some good reason to be very proud of myself. So I'm really excited, but I'm also a little bit terrified. <laughs> That's my life update for you. But anyway, back to the build for a second. We're actually working on the inside now. So you can see me kind of going through and trying to figure out what I want to do with the layout. So my main idea originally was that I was kind of worried that the build was too small to have a kitchen upstairs. Plus there were so many big windows everywhere that I was kind of considering putting the kitchen in the basement. So I did build a basement on this one. And then I realized that I didn't need to put the kitchen in the basement. So I just had like this basement and this staircase, but I kind of decided to make it work for me. So on the left side of the building is like the kitchen, the basement, storage room entrance, the bathroom, stuff like that. And I managed to sneak this kind of cool bar area in there. I don't know if the bar will be actually tended by anyone, but I think it looks really cool. And I was kind of imagining that this building in real life might be more of like a quick service kind of vibe. Like it wouldn't be a sit down, order with a waiter, have them come to your table kind of thing. This might be like a, you go up and order at the the counter kind of situation, but obviously the Sims isn't like that. So I've got that bar there, almost like you can pretend your Sim orders there, but also it's just kind of nice to have a cool bar space. And then in real life, you might have like bar stool seating for like ordering food at too. So I just kind of liked how it looked. I did this really cool thing with like a plant wall that had the sign, the like company logo in it behind the bar as well. And then we've got a lot of wood and green accents in here. I noticed that those growing together chairs were like perfect because they had the white legs, the wood base, and then the green seat. So it has like the whole color scheme all in one on just that chair. And it's like the right shade of green too. It kind of matches the bar. So I really liked how that looked together. There's a bunch of tables inside as well. And then outside we have a bunch more tables. I tried to put some music, like some speakers and stuff in the venue. I also wanted to make like kind of a trendy bathroom. I cut it out of the speed build because I spent way too long on it. Like it was kind of embarrassing how much effort was put into this bathroom. But I was picturing like at a lot of these sort of trendy restaurants, they make the bathroom really cool too. Cause you can like take take mirror selfies in there. So I've been to places like that that have like kind of interesting bathrooms even. And I was sort of trying to do that here. So we have like the leaf wallpaper everywhere. It's actually kind of cool. I also got to put in the changing table because growing together comes with like that changing table for community lots. And this is the first lot that I've built that's a community lot since the pack came out, aside from the rec center, obviously. So I got to use the changing table somewhere for the first time. So that was kind of fun. I don't know if in my game, I would bring an infant or a toddler to a restaurant. Obviously in real life, you probably would and you would need stuff like that. But in The Sims, I, I don't think I could see myself bringing the babies here. It just seems like it would be so annoying to have to deal with them here. You just like leave them on the floor basically. So I'd probably leave them at home. Um, but if you did, bring your infant here to this restaurant, there is a place to change their dirty diaper. We're kind of working on the outdoor seating area now. I started by trying to build like a custom hedge fence around it. Originally, I was gonna just use like a hedge or a fence because I kind of wanted to have some slight privacy for the seating, but also have it be open to everyone. And so I ended up using like a little half wall to build like a fake planner box and then putting these really cute debug hedges in there. And I loved how it looks. I like those debug bushes.
bushes a lot because they seem sort of like, I don't know, they're like fluffy, so they look kind of realistic. They're nicer than some of the other hedges that we have, I think, so I was kind of pleased to find those. I've noticed that there's some of those hedges in the base game debug, but also in a lot of the other pack debugs. When you go through the debug items from packs, you will find so many interesting items. There's so much stuff, but those are just base game. And then I tried to put like some fairy lights floating in between the building and this hedge fence. This was kind of an ordeal to try and set up, but I decided to try and use like some really cool slat walls in between the columns and then have the fairy lights hanging in between those and the building. And so the lights are kind of hanging over some of the tables and it looks really nice. And in real life, that would be such a cozy place to sit. I also like how it kind of added some visual interest like to the other side of the lot. I don't know, it just makes it so that there's more going on in the exterior. These fairy lights are from the toddler stuff pack. They're like some of the best ones in the game, to be honest. They're really, really nice. I use them a lot for stuff like this. I've done it before where I've kind of like hung them over like the dining table at a wedding venue and stuff. It just looks really pretty. It's also not that intrusive in game because they're skinny. So it's not like that annoying when you're playing with your Sims and you've got these lights hanging above them. Now, as far as the tables go on the exterior, I kind of struggle with what chairs to pick. I know I wanted to use the perfect patio stuff table because it had a nice square green umbrella, but I was like, should I use the indoor chair? Should we use a different chair? And then I realized that City Living has this really nice metal chair. There's a swatch that's like the exact same color as the metal on the table. And so I use that chair everywhere. It's kind of just like a gray shiny metal. I think it looks really nice. I'll admit that in real life, it would probably be very hot. <laughs> like sitting on it would probably suck, but it's The Sims, so they don't have to worry about that. I'm just imagining these ones that are underneath the lights in the direct sun, no umbrella. The sun is just staring down those metal chairs, just burning them up. It would be horrible. But again, it's The Sims don't have to worry about it. <laughs> it's so funny how much I pick and choose with stuff like that. The way that sometimes I'll play for realism and then, you know, put in a changing table that I know for a fact I'm never gonna use. And then, you know, other times I'm like, well, whatever, they can just burn. It's fine. All right, we're kind of making our way around to the back of the lot now. So at this point, I've pretty much furnished everything, but now I'm trying to figure out what to do with the right side because there's just that big grass area. I know that I want to have a dumpster and like some private access to it for the employees. The dumpster is also nice because you can use it as a woohoo spot. I'm sorry to say, but I'm I'm just being realistic. It's nice to have sometimes in The Sims. And you can like dumpster dive here. You can make really good money having your Sims dumpster dive. I'm serious. It's like a very lucrative option. Sometimes you can find fridges that are worth like 13,000 simoleons. It's, it's like actually amazing. So if you haven't tried it and you have eco lifestyle, I'd recommend going dumpster diving for money. But anyway, I wanted to put that over here. And then I decided to add in the parking lot idea because there's a lot of space and I kind of wanted to put a spot for a couple cars to be Park. And then I used the rest of the grass space just to put some trees in basically I was kind of just trying to blend it into the rest of the neighborhood Essentially, I didn't want to do anything super fancy. There's no point filling in the entire lot You know, we just need to fill in most of it <laughs> Just most of the lot and also I guess if you were to place this on a different lot like in a different location It would probably just cut off the parking lot section because this is a 40 by 20 So if you put it on a 30 by 20 There's probably enough space for the whole building and like the dumpster But then the parking lot would get cut off and that's fine. We don't really have that many 40 by 20 lots in this game. I can think of this one and there's one in Newcrest as well, but it's oriented differently. This one is like long horizontal. The Newcrest one is vertical, so you couldn't really place this in Newcrest very easily. There might also be a 40 by 20 lot in Selva Dorada, the one that came with Jungle Adventure, but I think that one is very like campgroundy. Like you probably wouldn't put this there. It wouldn't really fit into the jungle area that much. Speaking of Jungle Adventure, I haven't played with that pack in a long time. We should probably try to revisit that here for a YouTube video or two. It's pretty fun. You can like go through the temples and try and make money, but you can also die and that's always fun. <laughs> Your sim can like get turned into a skeleton. It's really exciting. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> we need to make a jungle adventure video. I'm sorry to say it, but you guys know it at this point. One of my favorite things about any Sims pack is a new death type. Like if a pack comes with a new way for your sim to die, it's immediately high on my list as one that I really enjoy. Again, I know it sounds bad, but that's, I'm just telling you how I feel. New death death types and new woohoo spots are like really high up there with making a pack good. I mean, you probably noticed from the dumpster that I put in this lot and I'm talking about it being a woohoo spot. I'm just, look, I've learned from the Sims community that these things are important to many of you. Whenever I do a community lot build on stream, everybody is like, okay, but is there a woohoo spot? Like you need to put in something. So they're like, put in a closet from get together, put in the observatory, put a dumpster. <laughs> so whenever I build one of these, everybody's like, okay, but where's the woohoo spot? Can we put 
but a woohoo bush. So I don't know. Apparently you guys are like really using these things, um, which is good for you. I mean, that's great. Speaking of my Twitch stream though, if you want to be one of those people spamming my chat, encouraging me to add in a woohoo spot to all of my builds, I stream like every day on Twitch. We also play a lot of The Sims. So if you want to see stuff like this live and, and you know, be a part of those conversations, I can link my Twitch channel down below. My name is just Lil Simsy on Twitch. We're almost done with the build now. We're just putting some final touches on like the kitchen area. You can see I have this little room here. This is kind of like the employee section because it has a kitchen, it has the door to the bar, it has the door to the basement. I put two of the like cook stations in here. There's also a sink and like some storage. We have like the waiter stuff in here as well. So all of those functional items will be in this room. And I do have one last little thing to note. Um, I did use a lot of packs in this build and for that I am so sorry. But in particular, I would like to apologize for my use of my first pet stuff. I really wanted to use those green blinds, okay? I use them in the bathroom and in the kitchen. They're the only my first pet stuff items in this build, but I did use my first pet stuff. And I think every time I do, I owe you all an apology. So I'm just gonna come clean. Yeah. I used my first pet stuff. <laughs> We're finished with the build now though. So I think I would like to pop into the game and show you a quick tour of the whole place. I built this one in San Sequoia. So it's the newest world that just came out with Growing Together. And I made it up in this neighborhood. This is the Gilbert Gardens area. It's on this lot, this 40 by 20 lot that's kind of right next to the rec center. You can see better what I was talking about with like how it's completely surrounded by road. It's such a nice place for a community lot. This is how it looks from the outside. I used a lot of wood and green, like I tried to warn you. I'm pretty happy with the roof as well. I even put a couple bits of grass on the roof, but then we also have some skylights. So around the outside, this is where you first walk up and check in. So your sim will come here, check in, they can see the menu. I put some benches out here by the door so you could wait for a table. You don't need to do that in The Sims, but in real life you might need to. So I kind of liked that. These are those like burning hot metal chairs that I was talking about, but they look kind of cute, right? I also put these little heaters here in case it gets cold. These don't actually do anything, but um, they're kind of a cute realism thing. So <laughs> I use those. We have the pretty fairy lights, this little slat wall that I made. Kind of around this side, we have like an employee entrance into the kitchen over here. There's some more plant walls. This is the dumpster section. It's kind of hidden, but also kind of open for easy access. And then we have that parking lot that I had mentioned. There's not a lot of parking, um, but it's The Sims 4, so there's no cars. <laughs> These are just debug cars. If you haven't seen this before, I don't want to like alarm you and make you think that cars exist because they don't. There's a couple cheats that you can type. bb.showhiddenobject and then bb.showliveedit objects, and that gets you access to all of the debug stuff, like all of the debug environment stuff. So we have cars, but not cars that you can use. Cars like these over here from that fake parking lot. So if you scroll through debug, you can find a few fake cars like that. They don't do anything. Your sim can't even click on them. They just look like a car, but it can be kind of cute for making, you know, nice fake environments. Like there's some more parking over there and stuff. Anyway, that's kind of the whole exterior though. And then when you actually walk inside the building, it kind of takes you into one big main dining room. We've got a few tables. We have the cool bar seating. And I love the look of this area with the logo on the plant wall. We have like some cool lighting too. Around the back over here is the bathroom. This is the plant wall that I was talking about. I really took plant wall very seriously. There are plants everywhere <laughs> on the walls in here. But we have some toilet stalls. We have the changing table, just some sinks and stuff. And then around this side, this door is kind of the employee area. This whole section kind of is. So we have have all of the kitchen stuff that you need, like the waiter stations right here. We have a couple chef stations, there's a sink. And then this staircase takes you down into like a slight locker room. And then what I was pretending to be a fridge, like a walk-in fridge, it's basically just a storage room. There is no need for this to be here. Originally I had it because I was gonna put the kitchen down here and then I didn't. So <laughs> that's just decorative. But there's also a door into the bar. It's kind of cool because this way the counters can go completely around and then only the employees can access the bar. So that is the whole building. I want to quickly show you like all the custom stuff that I set because I did give the waiters some custom outfits. I gave the staff like some of the cottage living clothing because it has like little vegetables on it. I called this place the Kale Cafe and then I made a whole custom menu. I really love this part. I think it's so fun getting to scroll through like all the food in the game and pick items. I tried to pick a kind of small menu and I was trying to pick all the stuff that was vegetarian safe and lactose free because I was sort of trying to make a vegan restaurant. We've got a couple rows of drinks. In game it's like exactly two rows because this plus sign won't be there. We have like, you know, water, juice, coffee. I put some boba tea. These things have milk in them. 
Um, but I'm just gonna say that they're lactose free, okay? <laughs> it's oat milk. I don't actually know if your lactose intolerant sims will get sick from them. I've really learned my lesson about lactose intolerant sims. I've got two right now that I'm playing with on Twitch. Both of their traits randomized, and when they eat dairy, it makes them poop their pants. Like, they will just pee on the floor, and it comes very fast, <laughs> so it's kind of nice to have some options that won't cause that to happen. Then I pick some salads and also some peas. For the main course, we have like some sandwiches and a couple other options. I was trying to just have a very limited menu, only like two rows. And then for dessert, I picked all pie. A lot of the pie is like vegetarian safe and lactose free. All of these are except for the chocolate pie, but it's fine. If you eat that, you'll just poop. It's okay. But I kind of liked how it was all pie as the, as the dessert on the menu. Again, not super complicated. It's a small menu, but it kind of works. I put this on the gallery if you want to download it. My name is just Lil Simsy on the gallery, and this lot is called the Kale Cafe. I think it looks pretty cool over here, and it's also right next to the splash pad, so if you wanted to come visit the splash pad, it's kind of a good spot to be. This is making me inspired to build some more lots on this lot, because I kind of want to do a park, maybe. That would be useful right next to the splash pads, but I don't know. I'll think about it. And on that note, I think we're done here. Here, so wish me luck with my big drive to Tampa this weekend. The drive to Tampa doesn't scare me. It's more so like the um, arriving at the concert. That, that part kind of scares me. The arriving and the leaving. But wish me luck. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitch. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see some pictures because I'll post some. My links are all in the description box and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. You know, I never plug my Instagram. I should make more of an effort to do that. With how Twitter is going, it looks like we're going to be left with only Instagram. So I should probably start plugging it more.